Alright, my name is Riley Selby, and I did my Chemistry Up project on the chemistry of ski waxes and bases, because those go hand in hand. Alright, so this is just your basic ski base, and this consists of 100% ultra-high molecular weight polyethylene. The formula for polyethylene is C2H4, which is where it gets its name, polyethylene. Polyethylene means many ethylenes, and it's basically a huge chain of carbon and hydrogen atoms. And the ultra high molecular weight is, um, it means that there's a very high number of monomers per molecule. And this gives it very prominent characteristics, including the fact that it has a very hard, very hard, smooth surface. The hard is very important so you don't get scratches all the time. Scratches can nearly total a ski. And um, there's a large res resistance to abrasion. That's very important. And hydrophobic probably being the most important. Hydrophobic means it tends to stay away from water, which many of you may already know. And um, the fact that it is porous, which means it has many scattered pores across um, its surface, small holes, essentially, that lets it hold additive materials extremely well, which is vital for waxes, which is also vital for modern day racing. And um, the base also has micro grooves in it, like small canals dug from tip to tail. And these are for anti-suction purposes. And as you might be able to see in this other ski that has been scraped, there's no wax on it. There's um, basically very small grooves in it. I can't tell if you can see these or not on my video. But uh, these grooves promote anti-suction, like I said. Alright. And uh, any basic wax will have any percentage of fluorocarbons whose formula is CF2. So I got two basic waxes here. And uh, this is a fluorocarbon wax, LF, and this wax, fluorocarbon's formula is CF2. This wax has a low percentage of it, meaning it is just for a regular day where the snow is very dry and not very hot, like a cold day. And this HF wax, also holding CF2 fluorocarbons, it, um, it is intended for a very hot day where the snow is very slushy and it's very moist. And... Um, the percentage of CF2 in the wax will increase in a bar for a hotter day because CF2 is very hydrophobic. And then um, that's basically your CF2 wax, fluorocarbon wax. And there are other types of waxes, which I will show you. All right, so um, for this hydrocarbon section of my project, these hydrocarbon waxes, as you can see, they're color-coordinated just like the last ones. They are color coordinated just so you can identify which wax you're actually using. And if you forget to label it, like we have, these waxes can be very confusing to identify, which is why there are charts, obviously. That'd be kind of stupid if there wasn't. But um, in these higher temperature waxes, hydrocarbons, specifically containing paraffin, uh, specific hydrocarbon, this uh, hydrocarbon's formula is CnH2n plus 2, n being a variable for the number of atoms. And um, there's a much, much smaller amount of hydrocarbon, paraffin, specifically, in these waxes because it is extremely hydrophobic compared to the fluorocarbon waxes where there's a large percentage of CF2 per bar. And um, that's really all there is to say about these waxes and these ski bases, as you can see. And that is my Chemistry Up project. I hope you enjoyed it and learned as much as you could have. Thank you.